Hi guys, today we're going to read On the Same Day in March, A Tour of the World's Weather by Marilyn Singer, illustrated by Frane Lessig. And I have emptied out my closet to take you around the world. Are you ready? Let's go. Here are all the places that we'll be visiting today. Right here you see the compass rose. It's got north, south, east, west. This is a hand-drawn map of the whole world. It's a flattened version of the globe. Here we go. On the same day in March, a tour of the world's weather. In the Arctic. Polar bears ride on flows of ice, stalking seals, wishing fish as the six-month sun begins to rise slowly in the Arctic skies on the same day in March. Alberta, Canada. Just when you can't even remember spring, that wild Chinook blows in like a dragon and quicker than you can say medicine hat. The biggest snow fort ever is nothing but a dragon-shaped patch in somebody's backyard on the same day in March. In Paris, France, the sun slips out still winter pale, but all over the city, at bus stops and markets, on small streets and grand boulevards, people hurrying to work or to school. People huddled in their coats and scarves, sitting at outdoor cafes and sipping chocolate. All of them turn up their faces to enjoy the sun's shy smile on the same day in March. In New York City, it's too gray to play outside today. The parents sigh, the little kids complain, but the basketball players stay in the schoolyard arguing what's worse, snow, sleet, or freezing rain on the same day in March. In the Texas Panhandle, they said it was just a tiny twister, not big enough to spin a horse or hoist a cow. But it did suck up a bucket of water and give Grandma's dirty old truck the first wash it's had in weeks on the same day in March. In the Nile Valley, fog threads through the temples. In the Louisiana Bayou, fog settles on the swamp, all on the same day in March. In Shan, China, in the park, the old men and small children guess, what will the wind carry today? Clouds of blue-winged swallows, dust that hurts their eyes, rain from up the mountains, kites shaped like butterflies in the same day in March. In Darjeeling, India, hailstones all over the hillside. No one is happy except little sister who thinks the moon has broken and scattered its necklace of pearls on the same day in March. In central Thailand, it's too hot to plant rice. It's too hot to pick rice, but it's not too hot to spell rice on the blackboard in the school on the same day in March. In Dakar, Senegal, sunlight sparkles on the market. In Barbados, sunlight dazzles on the sand, all on the same day in March. In northern Kenya, the rain comes all in one day. They leave the gift of a river. Everyone hurry. Come drink, come play before the sun shines. And all in one day takes the river away on the same day in March. In the Amazon Basin, Brazil, Grandpapa is always late. The rain is always on time. Arriving at three o'clock yesterday, three o'clock tomorrow, three o'clock today. Only the weather wears a watch, Grandpapa likes to say, whenever he or the rain makes everyone wait. On the same day in March. In Darwin, Australia, board up the windows, bring in the boat. Better to be like crocodiles crouched on the shore than to be out sailing the sea when the willy willies come to call on the same day in March. In Patagonia, Argentina, over the wide dry plain, autumn shears the clouds like a flock of sheep. Catch the wool, Mama teases her youngest son. He doesn't understand why these white puffs vanish wet and cold in his fat warm hands on the same day in March. We're in Antarctica. Penguin, 
Penguins scramble on the shore, seeking mates, missing fish, as the six-month sun begins to slice down below the Antarctic ice, all in the same day in March. Here is a note from the author. It takes the Earth 365 days, one year, to make a complete trip around the sun. The Earth does not sit straight up and down in the heavens. It tilts on its axis, an imaginary line running through the center. The top of the axis is the North Pole. The bottom is the South Pole. As the Earth orbits, sometimes the North Pole tips toward the sun, and sometimes it tips away from the sun. This tilt is what gives us the seasons. In March, winter turns to spring in the northern hemisphere, and summer turns to fall in the southern hemisphere. The North Pole will soon lean closer to the sun, giving the Arctic six months of daylight and warmer weather. The South Pole will lean farther and farther away from the sun, slipping Antarctica into six months of darkness and bitter cold. On any given day in March, somewhere in the world, it may be raining, snowing, or hailing. It may be sunny, foggy, or windy. There are places where the weather doesn't change much throughout the year. For example, in the equatorial rainforest, it is hot and humid, and it does not rain at the same time every day. Oh, it does rain at the same time every day. There are other parts of the world where the weather can ch sometimes change from hour to hour. New York City, where I live, is one of those places. Marilyn Singer I sure hope you enjoyed going around the world with me. That was pretty fun. I knew there was different weather in different places at the same time of the year. Whew, I'm exhausted. And now I gotta put all these clothes away. See you next time. Thanks for watching Learning with Miss Roseberry.